Hello, my name is Sharon Golightly and I'm the Chair of Trustees of the Easter Team. The Easter Team is a Christian charity made up of volunteers from across the churches in Crawley. We help local people in crisis to feel accepted, cared for and loved and valued by providing food parcels and help with electricity and gas top up so that we can show them the love of Jesus. And in this short video, I'm going to introduce you to some of our volunteers and our operations manager to tell you a bit more about what we do. So the first thing to say is all this food has been donated and it's been donated through churches, mainly um, individuals, some communities and some companies. And we couldn't start doing what I'm about to tell you about without what we've got here. So if you've donated to us, can I just say a very big thank you. Um, so everything is sorted, put on shelves, all in date order, so it's all nicely rotated. And then it's ready packed into basic parcels to go out, which will last people um, about three days. Um, they're designed to help uh, people over a bit of a crisis, over a bit of a hump. They're not designed to be a week's worth of shopping and they're not designed to last them long term. It's designed to be a short term um, bit of extra help and love. And today I've um, uh, arrived to pick up uh, food, parcels to deliver around Crawley. Uh, really excited because I get the opportunity to do it again after having a break and having to go back to work but uh, really excited to be able to bless people and take stuff to their homes and really encourage them uh, it's just such a privilege and a, a real blessing uh, to be able to do this uh, for Easter team and for all the people um, that receive the parcels. And what sort of difference do you think you're making in their lives? I think it has a massive difference when you see people's faces when you um, deliver uh, just the relief on people's faces uh, and I think you know people are in such need and so to be able to give, give the, the food is a, an amazing thing. And if somebody wanted to get involved what would you say? Uh, do it, yeah get involved, get, get, get involved, it's really great, lots of different opportunities, um, I know that they, they need drivers, people to, to deliver so it's a fantastic thing to be able to do. Well thank you for what you're doing and may God bless you as you bless others. Oh bless, thank you. Today um, I'm coming here to the food bank and picking up lots of uh, wonderful parcels of food. Um, we have family uh, parcels, we have doubles uh, for couples and uh, we have singles for those uh, on their own. And uh, then there's lots of you know, generous donors who, uh, who, who, who put extras in as well. So, so. Brilliant, thank you. And um, what's it like? when you're out there visiting clients? Well today it's cold, uh, sometimes it's wet, but uh, we've, we've been blessed on the days we've been doing deliveries. Uh, most of the time uh, I've found my way. Um, there has been some challenging uh, directions. Satellite navigation is a, <laughs> a real uh, bonus and uh, blessing to have that because uh, I think it would take a lot longer without that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good. And, and you get to have an opportunity sometimes. Uh, some people want to chat, not so much in the winter when it's cold, open the door and take the stuff in and, and you know you just uh, give them a greeting and check how they are but uh, yeah you know in the summertime there was more opportunity to uh, you know some one or two people you know stopped and had a bit of a chat which was, which was that's lovely. great and what difference do you think it's making to those who we serve well i think it's a lifeline to, to people really um you know one is obviously the, the food which is you know essential there you know uh, on the margins and uh, the, uh, you know, struggling to, uh, to feed themselves and their families, um, so that's that's essential. Um, but also, you know, sometimes you you know you drop in on someone, particularly during lockdown, and you know they're shielding or, or you know they've not been out, and you might be the only the only face they see in in a week. So uh, just to give them a smile and check how they are, you can't really do a lot bit more than that. But uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully that makes a bit of a difference to them. Well, from all of us at the Easter team, thank you for what you're doing. You are a real blessing. Oh, God bless. Lovely to be part of this big team. Thank you. I'm collecting some food and um, uh, to take to some people, and I'm going to give them some money, top ups on their gas or electric cars. Okay, what sort of difference do you think you're making in the lives of those in need in Crawley? Well, I hope I'm making a 
some difference, a little difference, not a great difference, but some of them are really struggling and um, we are able to help them, especially this winter weather with the top up for the gas heating. How much do you put on their top up car? At the moment it's gone up, we we're giving them £20 a month. That's amazing. And how long have you been involved with the Easter team, Roger? About 10 years, I think. Yes. My goodness. Well, thank you and so it's strange much. It's changed a lot in that time. I'm sure it has. The numbers have gone up so much that we've had to reorganise, and um, it's quite different now. Sue, tell us about how organisations across the town are working in partnership. So, um, We've always worked in partnership, we've always looked, looked to work in partnership with other organisations and churches, but since the first lockdown this has increased incredibly um, and has been a massive blessing. So at the moment with churches we have um, single points of contact in some of the churches who help with uh, recruitment and uh, communication with the volunteer teams, which is a massive blessing to me, that's made my work so much easier. Um, and we also, and they also uh, coordinate donations that are coming in from churches as well. We also are working much more in partnership with other organisations, particularly Crawley Open House, where we have always worked in partnership with and have had a very strong connection with. Um, and we've strengthened our connections with CAP um, and are very much looking to complement. Um, and work within the CAP guidelines as well, so we are serving clients in a similar way. Um, and it has been a real blessing to be involved with the Love Your Neighbour team as well, um, in so many ways, from organising donations through Higgity Pies, um, donations through all sorts of other places, and uh, all the team members who have come um, as co-opted volunteers through Love Your Neighbour. That's been a massive, massive blessing and a joy.